Hiya, welcome back to my channel. So, as you've seen by the title, this is my monthly empties for June and July because I realised halfway through July that I didn't actually do one for June. So, I thought I'd just combine them since now we're in August. So, I have a big box of products that I've used up. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing that we have here is the Skin Therapy face wipes these are like makeup removal wipes um there's 25 wipes in here now i don't use makeup removal wipes to remove my makeup um i use this if i'm not like, swatching makeup trying to like clean makeup products and things like that then we have this revolution with jake jamie watermelon sheet mask now the sheet mask genuinely looks like a watermelon you put it on your face i'm a watermelon um so yeah it's very refreshing sheet mask um i think i got three of these they came in like a pack of three Next we have this Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray. This is 100ml. Now I love this. Like this was so good. Now they don't have it in the... I got this in Superdrug but they don't have it in the Superdrug here. I've got to go to Russian Legs to get it. Then we next have this Future Aloe Face Cream and Body. Um, I actually got this in Force Winter when I went on holiday earlier in the year i think it was about may time um so obviously this ginger gets sunburnt so having like aloe vera like face cream like really helped to like soothe my skin um so yeah managed to use that up in june and then we have this medipure hair and scalp anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner two in one this is 400 ml this shampoo honestly makes my hair so soft i would highly recommend getting this especially this two in one as well just put it in and put in like a hair mask and then leave the hair mask in for about five minutes then wash it out and your hair is so soft and smooth. Then we have this coconut shower gel. This is 75ml. Honestly, little bottles of shower gel are perfect like this when you go for like a week away. Um, so yeah, I just like to use these. I think I got this in the glossy box as well. So then we just have a couple of like mini bottles of shampoo. So here we just have a basic earth botanical shampoo. This is only 30ml. And then we just have a Maritime Hotel shampoo, which is also 30ml. Now, this is funny because I got this shampoo when I went on a music tour last summer to Germany. And I've just been to Czechia now and I've only just used this up. Then we just have this Classics Nail Polish Remover, 400ml. Then we have this Nivea Cashmere Cottonseed Oil. This, it smelled really good and it honestly makes your skin so smooth because it's Nivea. And um, of course, if you know me, my perfume is this elegant pomegranate eau de parfum, which is 100ml. This little glass bottle, I love it. Like, every time I wear this, I always get complimented on how, like, I smell nice and that everyone likes my scent. So, yeah. Oh, it just smells so nice. So, yeah, this is, like, the only, like, body spray thing. Obviously, I've got some other ones if I get um, given it in a glossy box or I've got some old ones lying around on Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. Obviously, then I use those. But this is like the only one that I will go out and buy myself. And then we have this Nerve Protective Hair Mask. You know I love a good hair mask. Always put a hair mask in when I wash my hair. Um, this is just a 50ml, so it's just like a little one. Then we have a makeup product. I've used up my makeup product, I'm so happy. Any time I use up a makeup product, I get so happy because I feel like for me they're the hardest ones to use up because I don't wear makeup. Or I've got because I've got so many products I don't wear makeup as often as I maybe like to. Um, so I'm really happy when you as well out. So this is the Revolution Juicy Pout Lip Gloss with Cherry, Raspberry and Jojoba Oil. 4.6ml. Then we have this Averso Gianni Scalp Scrub. Now I'm fairly sure I got this from TK Maxx and when I picked it up I thought it was the hair mask. They do a hair mask in the same bottle and I absolutely love that hair mask. Um, but I still managed to use it, still liked it. I would use it maybe... This says to use once a week, I'd probably use it like once every two weeks. So next we have a few like sample little perfumes I've got in like glossy boxes and stuff. So first one was this um, Bomb Parfum of Paris. It's like a 103, this is like a 1 mil. And then we have two of these like Alien Goddess, um, like the Muggler um, ones like that. We've got Contact Lens Solution, 250 mil. Then we have a little Isoclean Makeup Brush Cleaner. Now, if you've seen the state of my makeup brushes in my makeup videos, you'll understand that I did need to clean them. So, I did clean them, like, a few weeks ago. Obviously, they're really dirty now because I've used them. But, yeah, this was, like, a little mini one. Then we have this Rose Body Scrub. This is 100 grams. I like to use body scrub, like, on my shoulders and on my back where I get, like, acne and start, like, breaking out and stuff. 
Then we have this and I beauty perfection leave-in conditioner. Um, so this actually took on tour with me and it was really good. Instead of a hair mask, I might just took this and I'd wash my hair and then I'd just put this in on my wet hair and just leave it and then let my hair dry and then be completely fine. It didn't dry out my hair or anything, so this was only 50 mil. Then we have this, it's like a little pot of like a face face scrub. Um, I do actually have another one of these, which I'm currently using now, so let's see if I can empty that in the next month. Um, but yeah, this is just a little face scrub. We have got another one of this Maritime Hotel shampoo. Then I've got this Michael Kors Wonderlust little mini perfume. I think I got for Christmas last year. Then I've got this makeup removal wipe from Oriental Cherry. I think I got this in like a makeup mystery box. Um, this is good for like one wipe. Um, it smells of avocado. It actually smells really good and smooths your skin. So yeah, I really like that one. Then we have this Balance Brave New Hair Scalp Tonic. This was 75 ml. So when I come out the shower and I've got wet hair, I just put this on my scalp, um, rub it in, and then just style my hair as normal. It's a well known fact that like, my hair just sheds like anything. You will find my hair everywhere. So yeah, this is a good one to put in. Then we have a Happy Naturals Reset Body Lotion. This was 300ml. Um, I do suffer from, I can get like dry, quite dry skin at times. So it's always good to moisturise and have like a big bottle of moisturiser. Favourite ever cleansing balm. This is, this is just the super drug um, melting cleansing balm. This is 65 grams. Honestly, this part, it removes your makeup so effortlessly. You don't need a lot. If it gets in your eyes, it doesn't burn. It's my favourite that I've tried. Honestly, I love it so much. We'll continue to repurchase this. Then we have a little eye serum. So this is that I Want You Naked eye serum. This is a, a little tumour bottle. Um, it just looks like that. It's very tiny. But yeah, you just put it under your eyes. And it just helps with like bags and wrinkles and stuff like that. So next we have this Mine Moisturising After Sun Gel. This is 50ml. Obviously, when I went to Force Ventura, I got very sunburned, so I obviously I took this with me and then I finished off in June. I've really like squeezed this to death, but this is a Paradox 3-in-1 hair conditioner slash hair mask. Um, you can tell I've really squeezed every single like last drop out of this. Then here we just have a, another little face mask. This just comes in like an individual little packet, just put on really smoothing. Then. We have a little tea tree pore strip and a beautiful woman's activated charcoal pore strip. Obviously, pore strip's good. I suffer from so many blackheads on my nose. And I like to use them on my boyfriend and peel them off as well. And then here we have a little Thermo V10 boob mask. Now, I wasn't really sure what this was going to do. So, I put it on and it actually made them like quite soft and smooth, like the skin. So, yeah, it was an interesting experience to walk around in that. Then next we have this Nivea Day Cream with for normal skin with SPF 15 this was a 50 mil honestly anything with SPF in it sign me up last but not least we have these vital flush ball wipes I like to use these just to carry around in my bag in case there's no like toilet paper in the toilets and stuff like that just so you know you're always prepared so yeah there's 15 wipes in there that is everything that I managed to use up in June and July I know I said I wanted to use up 30 products in June but I didn't quite manage that goal um, I am actually moving out about just over a month. I'm going to see if I can use up 50 products between now and moving out. Um, I know that's a lot. It's very, very ambitious. I'm going to keep a list on my phone of how many I managed to use up. Um, just because obviously I am trying to downsize. So also stay tuned for my Depop because a lot of clothes will be going on Depop. Clothes and shoes and bags and stuff like that will be going on my Depop that I don't use anymore. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another video.